guys. So someone have left me a comment on one of my mask only reactions that um, I should check out this channel by the name of Beard Meets Food. Beard Meets Food. That's a pretty clever channel name. So I went to check out his channel and it's basically this bearded man who eats monumental proportions. And he just posted a video a couple days ago actually and um, it's got almost half a million views already. Um, this one is called Brood's Giant Burrito Challenge and it will be my very first time watching him so let's just begin! Comfort break done, onward to Grimsby! Words that could strike fear into the heart of any man. <laughs> located in Australia? I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know why I flew the drone up today. Exactly. Miserable. Anyway, this is the venue. Sandwich Corner. Oh wow. Oh my god. It's a small little place. Oh, hi. Oh, do you know who I am? Yes. I've got like a little welcome party here. Yeah, he, he has like oh, 1.5. Over 1.5 million subscribers. Yeah. Oh, well, the dog oh, watches me. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you a fist bump, but yeah. I don't want your paws have been. What are the odds oh, that you're here to smash your burrito challenge? I recommend him. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. This, I love the, the floral cushions, by the way. Yeah. Very kind of 80s. That's, that's a chic that's going to come back around this at some point. This is like one isolated place. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that burrito. <laughs> Bigger than I anticipated, I'm not gonna lie. Was it 18 inches? That's like four of me on a humid day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a place today called Brews at Sandwich Corner, which is in Grimsby, and I'm taking on their, uh, is there a special name for it? Or just like. Brews Big Burrito Challenge. Mm -hmm. Brews Big Burrito Challenge. Mm -hmm. Lots of alliteration in there, I like it. And you get 45 minutes to finish this. Oh my uh, gosh. How many pounds burrito, is that, bro? Which is full of breakfasty things. And it smells good, That's looks good, nice. and one person has done it, right? Yeah. And that person is in here, so no pressure. You get 45 minutes, but this man did it in what, 16 minutes or something? 16 minutes, 30 seconds. What oh. an animal. 16 minutes? So, uh, yeah, he's, oh, he's begging wow. me to, okay. to, to, to not that. defeat his record. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, without further ado, this is Baby Spoon. This is whatever I just said. That, that, that's the challenge. Who's gonna... Oh my god, food is gonna get caught on his beard. I'm gonna try and keep it all together, you know. <laughs> that's gonna be so messy. I mean, I, I'm not particularly skilled at, at preventing things from falling apart, be it oversized wraps or, uh, more broadly speaking, my own life. But, you know, we're, we're Wait, did you even get to chill? He took like 10 bites <coughs> without you even <coughs> chewing or swallowing. Like <laughs> it looks about me. Yeah, probably start to smell after a while. How Don't think it's like that? into your attempts at a uh, witty remark there. But uh, today we're at a place called. Brews at Sandwich Corner. Oh wow, it's just a, a minute. Full He's already chowing down like a, a, a fork. Pretty neat. A bargain as well. A snip. A uh, just 15 quid. And uh, I think like 15 people have attempted it ish. And only okay, one has been successful. Okay, maybe a fifth. <laughs> <laughs> it feels ridiculous eating this in silence in front of a small crowd. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about, you know, low level ambient music. Which seems to effectively distract from the uh, the farce of, of what I'm doing here. Still, I'm enjoying the burrito. So if you do that in 60 minutes, I think you've got potential, man. Yeah. You could be on the circuit with <laughs> me. Oh yeah, my god, so far his beard actually remains fairly clean, <laughs> which I'm amazed how. Foundation. <laughs> Once I've uh, retired, but I'll, I'll, I'll say a few words on him in, in just a second. Right now, I'm, uh, wiping my face. I want to see the rest of the restaurant. Well, do people come here just for the challenge, or like? I'm saying the people do people come here and dine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just loitering around my car, so. <laughs> wait, wait. Question: Did you have to pay for that? I've been full handed now. It's all right. Yeah, I should clarify. I just spotted a rather fiendish looking. Because I know in some places, um, that if you finish everything within the allotted amount of time, you don't have to pay for the meal. But if not, you'll have to pay for it. So I was wondering if that's the same case for this place. Character lingering around my car outside, so it got me a little worried. Oh wow, okay. Like under five minutes and he's like halfway through. What the heck? It's making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
will be hungry after this. <laughs> well, but then again, I don't know how much he normally yeah, is does. capable of eating. And who so. can blame him? Anyway, these these people, um, like the, uh, the the owner of the restaurant uh, or cafe, is probably more accurate. I, I, I messaged him earlier in the day. And I said, you know, "Come by and do the food challenge." And I sent him a screenshot. I, I thought it was being, you know, uh, surreptitious. I didn't like say what it was or anything. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't like... notice that in the screenshot, in the, in the little, uh, the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little oh uh, big food that logo. Oh is amazing. Which, uh, 45 minutes. Kind of he clearly doesn't and, need 45 uh, minutes, bro. The owner of the he, uh, he let some people know that nice, was, uh, bro. Was on Under way. 10 now, minutes and he's practically the, done. Uh, the, the one wow. Who, who actually has managed to finish this thus far. Amazing. And uh, yeah, he did it in just over 60 minutes, which is a pretty solid time, given that you get 45 minutes to finish this. And if I didn't say it already, if you do finish, you get spot on the wall of fame and the meal free. No t-shirt, sadly. But uh, oh, no yeah, the people that came down uh, to watch were a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, the, the, I mean, the burrito's good. The place is kind of small. Easy feats for him. Oh my gosh. But the food is really good. Really enjoyed it. Hope That's you enjoyed insane. the video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Oh my god, he's cleaning up every little bit. <laughs> Okay, that 16 minutes was impressive, but this guy did it in like slightly over 10 minutes. What? <laughs> nice. He didn't even seem to struggle either. Oh my gosh. Thank you. And, and I'm sorry, I, be, I tried not to be the record. It just kind of happened. It was good. This stomach? Have you got anything sweet? <laughs> Have you got anything sweet? A dessert I'll, I'll, to follow up after a, that. Got, is that cherry Pepsi? Look at that, dessert of kings, Pepsi Snickers, Snickers, and a Pepsi Max Cherry. What more could you want? Oh, okay. That's it. Wow, his stomach must can like store a lot of food. Oh my god. Oh, it's, it's not gonna be epic. Don't, 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 don't oversell it. I started True Blood because. It was like, this is gonna be epic, and that guy's like, don't oversell it. Wow, that was like an astronomical burrito. Uh, the largest I've ever seen and yet this man manages to finish it with no problem. Like how? How did he do that? He didn't even suffer. Like I surely would have. I don't even know how much of that burrito I can even eat. Like, oh my goodness. Description. So in the description he writes, 45 minutes to eat a breakfast burrito the size of two larger than average ferrets all in the presence of the only man who has been able to beat the challenge so far should be a giggle oh so the other man happens to be there too like did they schedule this beforehand or does that man happen to work there or is he the owner of the place finish this breakfast wrap stuff to the brim with full english full english favorites and you get the 15 pound meal free and a spot on the wall of fame time to get to work so commonly asked questions include how come you don't get fat which he answers i eat like this for one hour of a 168 hour long week in simple terms i eat at a caloric maintenance caloric caloric is that how you say that word i might be pronouncing it wrong i'm so sorry i eat at caloric maintenance over the course of time meaning i don't gain weight if you're interested in learning more see the but how come you're not fat and it was just a normal day videos available on my channel yeah but the question is how do you manage to eat that much in one sitting how is it possible that your stomach was able to hold all of that the bug didn't even get a chance to digest the food bro oh my gosh wow uh, another question is, don't you worry about your health? Which he answers, not in particular, I'm active. I eat nutrient-dense foods five days a week and I get quarterly bloods done amongst other health checks. <laughs> okay, so some comments are, I need to stop watching these while hungry. LOL, that burrito looks so good. LOL. Don't we always like pull up videos of food when we're hungry? Like ironic much, but I think we all do that. Challenge time, 45 minutes, Mr. Beard laughs inside, Mr. Beard 10 minutes later. Have you got anything sweet? <laughs> yeah, the fact that he still has room for dessert, wow. Absolutely great job, Mr. Beard. I always forget about how these amazing shots are taken and how much effort you put into your videos, Beard. The fact that you fly a drone up to take an aerial shot of each town 
slash city you visit is pure dedication. Oh yeah, I did see that. That bird's eye view of the city. Wow, okay. True, good point. I don't comment as much as I should, but just want to let you know I appreciate you and your video loads. Yeah, that little town that he was in, it seems pretty quiet. Like, at least that little corner where that little shop was located it was it was it looked almost a little empty slash abandoned it's like do you know who i am ah the classic line beard has ascended to the higher oh my god how do you say that word echelons of stardom only joking of course it wasn't said in that way great challenge and fantastic banter as always Great job, Beard. Okay, is that what people call him? Beard? Okay, that's his nickname, Beard. I always like when you get to joke around with the folks watching you in the restaurant. Yeah, he said there was a small crowd watching him to attempt that challenge. Just got a burrito delivered and go onto your channel to find this beauty. Perfect timing, lad. That is how you say that word, right? Wow, okay, this short little reaction video demonstrates how bad at pronunciation I am. They have achieved they have achieved a great level of greatness. Oh my god, I can't I can't read either apparently. They have achieved a level of greatness with their dessert menu. Very few have ever seen. <laughs> I love that the dude told people and got a few people there. Uh, you should totally do that more often. The publicity would be great for you and the restaurant. I'm here to smash your burrito challenge, the confidence. The fact that the face you do in the beginning is hilarious. Great content as always. I absolutely love a burrito. Maybe not that big though. You again, Rue. <laughs> well, apparently he's the only... He's the only second person that's been able to... Uh, defeat this challenge if you will that's a big ass burrito now i love burritos and now thanks to you i want one or two lol i just love this man i love all of your content i love that you laugh at your own jokes it freaking cracks me up so much thank you for being the best channel on youtube yeah i always love it like it doesn't matter what kind of youtuber or whatever or comedian or whatever i just love it whenever they laugh at their own jokes it's such a, such a wholesome moment so loving the interaction with everyone there brings the videos to the next level. Maybe you should let people know when you do a, when you're doing a challenge. I'm sure people would come to see you do it. Maybe even patronize the eating establishment. <laughs> this looks absolutely delish. Kept yourselves pretty clean too. Yeah, true. He did not get messy. <laughs> Though I thought he was gonna. I never thought I'd see a man devour a snake until today. I absolutely love your videos. Thank you for ma making competitive eating videos a joy for me to watch. Again, keep smashing those records. Bro. <laughs> I always be laughing at supposedly joke lines that i don't even realize what they truly meant at the moment but okay this comment kind of clarified it and i was laughing earlier when he said it but like i didn't even realize that that's what i meant four of me on a humid day said with this cheekiest smirk comedy gold now i get what that means I think. <laughs> I view your channel because you're a pleasant person with a fun personality and a hell of a eater. <laughs> Much respect. That was a huge rap. I couldn't do it nowadays, but when I was 16, I would have destroyed it. <laughs> Whenever food challenges do a giant version, it seems hit or miss if it looks good. Hit or miss if it looks good. Giant burgers always come apart and usually can't even be eaten as an actual burger. Burritos seem to scale up very well though. Another great video. True. I love it when people recognize you. They 
get so into the challenge. Sorry they didn't have a proper dessert. I just think all restaurants within a 30 mile radius of your home should stock cheesecake just in case you show up. <laughs> I literally see the steam coming out of that burrito. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, people seem to like him a lot in the comments. Like people are just like, oh, you're such a nice person. I love your personality and everything. Everyone seems so supportive. Um, I don't know how long his channel has been around, but um, it's my very first time encountering him. So yeah, thank you to the person that um recommended for me to check out his channel, and thank you to you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content from me, make sure you click subscribe. Adios, guys.